In this video, we're going to move some of our scripts into this programming board. In the last couple videos, we created a script to activate and deactivate your landing gear when taking off and landing. Uh, we also went over linking a programming board to the chair instead of using the chair for all of our links and programming. So let's get started. Let's go grab our script from this ship right here. We're going to grab it from the flight seat, control L. System is where we set it up in the flush filter. This is the one we worked on together for the landing gear. So let's copy that. Let's close out of here and let's go add it into this ship. So we're going to go up to our programming board which is now linked to activate when we sit in our uh, controller chair. Let's press control L. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go to system. We're going to add a filter like we did initially. And we're going to add a flush filter. Paste it in there. Now our script is in here. Problem is it's calling telemeter um, and the landing gear switch, which we didn't link to this board yet. So let's do that. Let's hit apply to save it. Let's go grab the telemeter. So B for build mode, link tool. There's our telemeter under the ship. And let's link it to the board. Control L to go back in there. Now you see it took up slot one. We got to give it that name, telemeter. Hit apply, because we also have to add the landing gear switch, which I already set up for us here, is going to this switch. So we need our, our arrows on the link to go to the switch. So make sure to grab the programming board to the switch. We'll go back into the programming board, control L. And let's call that the same thing, which was landing gear switch. So I'm going to grab that, put it there. So this we already had set up before working from the chair. Now the chair is going to activate the board and it's going to work exactly the same way without using up the links in the chair. But let's add a couple other things here. Say we want this to also open and close the doors. So let's link those to their own relay. So let's grab the door. Let's add it to the relay here. Let's grab this door as well, add it to the relay, which again, we're going to link from the programming board to the switch and the switch to the relay. Uh, I think I missed the target here. There we go. And let's go back into our programming board and we're going to give that one a name as well. Door switch. Apply. We're going to add that to the Lua in a minute. Let's do a light switch as well so we have running lights. That way, when we start our ship, it's going to turn our lights on. So let's link all four of these lights to this other relay. One, two, Three, if you have more lights, you can set them up. I just have four on the front of this ship for now. Uh, and again, we're going to link from the programming board to the switch, from the switch to the relay. Now let's get out of our link mode. Let's press control L. And now we have this other slot here again that showed up, lit up, showing, hey, something's in there. We've got to give it a name, and we're just going to call it our light switch. Now let's add this to the same script we were using. So system, flush, and we already have our if-else statement here. If obstacle down, which is if it meets these parameters, then landing gear switch dot activate, so it'll activate the landing gears else landing switch dot deactivate it'll deactivate the landing gears so if it meets this criteria we're going to activate the doors which opens them 
door switch again that's our name here for the link which is the link uh, to the relay to the doors dot activate same thing and down here we're going to do deactivate door switch dot deactivate and let's do the same thing one more time for our light switch so I'm just gonna copy this light switch dot activate and light switch dot deactivate so now you can see that we're expanding on our very basic if then statement uh, but when we meet this criteria we should our landing gears should go down our doors should open and our lights should enable which actually I think this is backwards because we want them to turn off in this situation so it's going to deactivate um, and otherwise so when it's flying above that that argument we're going to activate them so let's hit apply and let's test this out let's sit in the chair now let's take a look at what happened so the programming board switch activated turned on the board which in turn ter enabled our our door switch and our landing gear switch um, our light switch isn't on yet so our lights should be off let's check so our doors open our landing gear is down and our front lights are off so now let's go up and see what happens lights turned on doors closed landing gear went up and from a cockpit view let's see what our buttons are doing our switches you can see them activating and deactivating as we told them to awesome so that's it for this video uh, now you should be able to set up your takeoff and landing scripts uh, customize them a little bit for your landing gear doors uh, lights you can add other elements in there as well these are just a few of the basic ones i wanted to get you set up with um, cool so enjoy and fly safe